All right, found a Nissan Skyline. It's one of the ones I wanted, so that's cool. There was a Toyota Celica too, I'll show it to you later. Also this set that's, you know, everyone wants that Accord with the god-awful wheels. <laughs> cool. I do like this thing. Uh, it would make a good wheel donor though. Harry Potter car. Uh, Nissan Z, not bad. Not bad, but not great. And the porch, I'm a little over, over the porches, man. Too many of those things out lately. How many versions of the freaking five porches do you need? But hey. And there's the uh, Celica. It's nice, but whatever. I'm honestly not even sure about this one to be honest with you. We'll see if I pick this up or not. But yeah, I'm on my way to Target, so we'll see what's going on over there. So, first of all, <laughs> um, I come up to the register with the Skyline, the Neon Skyline. Um, it rang up as like, 337 so with tax it's like close to four so four dollars for that car I literally saw people selling these on whatnot for like five bucks so <laughs> why go to Walmart uh, second of all 337 man it's it's a basic car it's just, the card art's different, they use different colors, it still doesn't differentiate, it's not a mid-grade, you know, it's not a semi-premium, uh, like, the base isn't metal, right? Unless, maybe they are metal, I don't know. If they are metal, whatever, but I thought the semi-premiums were, like, less than that, I thought they were, like, two-something. I don't know. Um, yeah, and then I go up to the register and it's green. You know how, like, the self-checkout, there's a green light on top? So, yeah, uh, I didn't go to the ones with red. I went to the one with green. And, uh, I rang up the thing. The screen's telling me stuff to do, you know, to pay for it next. And I'm like... <sighs> So, anyway, so I'm like talking to these people. I'm not talking to them. I was just thrown off by this guy. It was weird. Uh, but anyway. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I'm just doing my thing and I hear, Hello! Hello, sir! I'm like, what? Hey, why are you talking to me like that? So I turn around she's like, That one don't work! I'm like, Okay, inside I'm like, it would be a good idea to put a sign on that screen saying, out of service. Would be a logical thing to do, but whatever. Yelling at people as if they're the ones who are dumb seems to be the way to go. So, I was like, oh, my bad. I just left it and left. Um, not that me leaving the product is going to make any of them like be like oh no they left the product they don't give a fuck but I'm not gonna figure out what to do and get back in line for the self checkout because you're not doing your job you should have seen me approaching the broken register and told me not to go there and not halfway through me checking out yelling hello at me so yeah that's weird man so yeah um by Walmart on Route 1 on the boulevard in Northeast Philly. <laughs> Let's go see how Target's doing. Hello! Why are you watching? Why are you watching this video, sir? Hello! Yeah, it's fucking annoying. All right, I'm done. I'm sorry. I trimmed my nose hair, guys. I, yeah, last time I was making this video and from this angle, I was like, hey, hi, how's it going, guys? You know? So... <laughs> 
anyway um <clears throat> yeah wanted to touch on retail as well uh, a little bit hey man i like i like to talk about these things i like to rant a little bit um i don't really care um i do enjoy the feedback i get from you guys and uh those of you guys that watch seem to be enjoying when i do these things so yeah it's like walking and talking only driving and talking <laughs> uh anyway so i worked in retail before so i'm not just talking out of my ass so um as someone that worked at retail before i worked at staples i worked at uh target a long time ago no not target i'm sorry whoa 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 i worked at kmart <laughs> so staples kmart and something else in Canada, I don't remember what the store was. Uh, it could have been White Rose. I don't know, you Canadians let me know. I think it was White Rose. I was a teenager, like, yawned. It was like, well, anyway. So, uh, I'm very aware of what it's like to work retail and uh, what a freaking top job it is to deal with customers who think they're right, who think they should be right, who act like they're right. Uh, dealing with people who try to return things that are broken or try to return something old that they exchanged for something new that they bought and put something old and broken back in the box and try to return that. Dealt with all of that. A lot of people are scumbags. A lot of people are awesome as well. A lot of people are wonderful people, uh, loving, awesome, honest people. Um, <laughs> but most people are not. So. Yeah, um, so I gotta say to these people that work retail jobs, if it's too much for you and you can't handle it, maybe find a different job. I, I guess it might be hard for you to find another job. I don't know. But if you can't deal with people if you're going to, like, let's say, uh, for example, in Hot Wheels uh, aisle, if you're working there, and two scalpers came and uh, they're like, oh, let me get the boxes, or they just raided your box and your U-boat and took all the things out and left a mess and you're all pissed off, you know? Don't take that out on the next person that came in. They have no fucking clue what just happened to you. Don't take it out on someone else that came in. Uh, we're using this as an example. Um, if another like Hot Wheels person comes into that aisle after it got raided, don't treat them as if they're the one that came in there and raided that thing and left it a mess. Don't like. Why are you doing this to people? You're you're being a freaking asshole. You know that there's like shows they do. Am I the asshole? Yeah, you are. <laughs> the employee. Like, don't, why? Like, if this job is too hard for you to handle, you can't deal with people, you can't provide customer service, you're obviously not getting paid that well. It's not a good place for you. Maybe find another job. I mean, dishwashers get paid quite a, a lot more money than uh, retail. I worked as a dishwasher at a few restaurants. I got paid well. I worked as a host in restaurants. I was a call. I've done a lot. This isn't my resume. Uh, I'm just trying to say that to you guys that I have experience in a lot of jobs and a lot of places and a lot of countries to where I'm not talking out of my ass like some YouTubers do. I have experience with this shit. So when I tell you like, bro, if you can't be nice and you can't handle your job as someone that deals with customers, change your job otherwise people are gonna treat you like shit other customers are gonna see that you're talking to them like an asshole that you're treating them not fairly for no reason your day is gonna get even worse your day is gonna keep getting worse because <laughs> you're an asshole that's how it goes man the more you act like a soul the more people are gonna act like souls to you so word of the day is fucking asshole <laughs> Anyway, let's go to Target. We're here. If my calculations are correct, we're about to see some serious shit. 
That's a lot of serious shit, Marty. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, nothing. Same as last time. It's here yesterday, I believe. Looks like Walmarts are doing way better than Targets with their restocks in my area. Yeah, wow. Well, let's see, what do they have? L case. <laughs> Q case. Q. L. Cool. No, there's no one in here. I'm in the men's bathroom. Look at that. Someone was stealing card Pokemon cards. Yep. There you go. Fantastic. Oh man, so yeah, that's weird, right? Can't believe my uh, target is that weird. This guy, I don't know who this guy is, but I see him in this parking lot all the time with his little wizard graphics. I see him in the neighborhood too. Shouty! <laughs> I wonder if my phone will stay there. That's crazy. Probably not. We'll find out. We'll find out if you're about to see... Yeah. You're about <laughs> All right, so in the spirit of me trying not to show uh, heck hunters in my area anymore, like, unless I really know them or whatever, we're like talking for long enough, but um, uh, no need to uh, get them ticked off at each other, you know what I mean? I really don't care. Um, so, um, yeah, I just saw one good dude. Um, not going to drop any hints, but yeah, he was uh, going into that target after I was leaving. Well, he's going to be disappointed as always. I don't know what's up with this target. It's not my target. It's like my second target closest to my house. And uh, yeah, it's kind of weird, man. I haven't seen anything in that target for like three weeks. It's, it's always like that. It'll be like completely empty for a month. Like, with a little drop here and there, a little tiny little, you know, little little, little fart, like, poof, you know, like, poof, poof, oh, oh, found it. Then, like, at one point, it'll be, like, three cases and every, you know, of regulars and then, you know, a whole bunch of premiums, a whole bunch of this and that. And it's like, holy shit, what happened, you know? So it's kind of weird how, how distribution centers work, you know? I just thought it was interesting. Uh, I don't know, man. You guys know me, I don't I don't really care. It would just be really nice to freaking, you know, just see see some full pegs for a change, man. Like I you know, I'm not even gonna buy much, man. Like whatever, or any of it at all. <laughs> like from the neon set, I want the 510 wagon, obviously. I like to collect my 510 wagons, they're freaking awesome. So if I find that, I'm going to get that. Maybe the Eclipse also. But to be honest with you, man, after seeing that price at uh, Walmart, holy shit, man, $4. Like, instead of buying, you know, four or five of the Neon or that full set. So if you buy that full set, how many are there? Like, seven, eight cars? Bro, that's, that's a lot of money. Math. <laughs> No, I'm good. I'd rather, like, I would rather bite the, the bullet and not... I don't know if bite the bullet works on that, because bite the bullet is usually you're like, I'm going to buy that, even though it makes no sense. Uh, but yeah, I think I would rather not buy any of the cars from the Neon set, even though I like the Eclipse, I like the 510, and the one that I just put back at Walmart. Like, I'd rather not get those and just put that money towards a really nice premium a uh, premium car, you know, like collector grade car, like NO64 or Mini GT or whatever, you know, <laughs> and I'd rather get it from like my friends, you know, on like uh, diecastcrepo.com or whatever, you know, or on whatnot from Mustang Queen, like, rather, I would much rather like take that money and get something really cool, high quality, highly detailed, just get that there instead of like, shelling out all that money on, on this set or for a couple of cars that are at this set that are 
plastic wheels and not detailed like they're just hyped up that's all it is I don't know man <laughs> I don't know man like you know I'm, I'm sharing these thoughts with you guys and yeah maybe it's ad nauseum maybe you know I'm being redundant because I keep saying these things but that's what I keep seeing so I'm reporting I'm reporting the news to you guys as I see it as I go and as it comes at me so um, it's not like I'm trying to freaking you know like stir shit up or start these uh, topics for no reason it's just like this is what I'm experiencing right now so I'm giving you my thoughts that's how it goes um, reporting in the field as they say but yeah man what the hell so yeah um, I really <laughs> I don't know, man. Like I was saying, I do enjoy hunting. I love Hot Wheels, the actual Hot Wheels. I know they're not detailed. I know, whatever. But, uh, yeah, I understand it's inflation. I'm saying all these things because there's always a bunch of smart-ass comments of people that are, like, sitting there cozy behind their computer. And, you know, they have time to think of what they want to say to sound smart, you know? And they're like, well, actually, it's because of this and that and this. And, oh, hold on. Then they, like, research a little more on Google to make themselves sound smarter. It's like, shut the fuck up, dude. <laughs> Used to be nice. The freaking, you know, $1 cars from Hot Wheels. Then there would be, like, $2 cars that are a little bit high, more highly detailed. Uh, you know, like the sets you get, like the neon color things. And, uh, you know, uh, it was understandable. It's a little bit more because it's special or it's exclusive to a store. Or it has a metal base, you know, whatever. Now it's like, they're all fucking expensive. Like, I'm sorry, but like... Sorry, there's always a Honda fucking... Anyway. Um, <laughs> uh, where was I? Uh... Oh yeah, so I understand inflation and all that. I understand prices are going up for everything. I get it. I'm not, that's not what I'm talking about. Like, I live in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. So our grocery prices are the highest in the nation. The highest. Like, I just bought five items, like eggs, uh, shredded cheese, a couple of other things, whatever. My bill was like $43. I'm like, what the fuck? $43, dude? That should have been like 15 bucks. Like, fuck! <laughs> so, what I'm saying is like, so wait a minute, like, Hot Wheels raised their prices on, uh, you know, everything, right? Yet, I can go and pick up, you know, what's that new company? Uh, Poster Cars, for example. They're like 10 bucks a car, and it it comes with a, a clear, you know, plastic case, display case. The car is detailed, you know, rubber tires. That's 10 bucks. Premium car from Hot Wheels, seven bucks. Like, what's what's the point? I thought Hot Wheels, like, I'm, I love Hot Wheels, man. Again, I keep, I keep having to, like, reinforce that. I'm a fan of Hot Wheels. I like them. <laughs> I'm just saying something's not right. Something ain't right, man. So, uh, yeah, um, I don't know. That's why I started collecting, uh, you know, collector grade stuff. Just because it makes more sense financially. And they look amazing in my display case. Yeah, economics, man. I'm sure some of you can answer that. Like, you know, I'm not necessarily asking anyone for you know, explanations. I'm giving you my thoughts and opinions about my hobby and what I'm into here. So, you know, and how it's changing for me. So I'm taking you along on my peck hunts or whatever. And, you know, I'm, I'm giving you my direct reactions to what I see in stores. I give you my direct reactions to who I see in stores without showing their face or giving you their names, as always. I have integrity, unlike some people on YouTube. Ah, hey, you, what's up? Honestly. But anyway, um, yeah, let's go into this Target, see what's going on, and uh, we'll take it from there. Have a nice day. All right, let's see what's going on here. I know the pig hunters I saw in my Target they're from this area, so they were here already. 
So it's interesting to see if there's anything here or what's here. More likely balls. Sure were. Oh, isn't that special? Oh yeah. So again, like I keep seeing people talking about how hard these are to find. Like this store has had them here for almost two weeks now. That's quite a few weeks for them to be here and people having a hard time finding them. Oh look, there's more. <laughs> there's a little bit of non-Hot Wheels stuff for you guys. Lots of Pokemon stuff. <sighs> Yu-Gi-Oh! Wow. Magic. Tons of sports cards. Man, the crazy days of 2020 are gone. I remember watching fights over this crap. <laughs> Alright, hope it's not too rattly, guys. If it is, hang tight. It won't be rattly as, uh, as the motoring progresses. Alright. Cool, so I uh, saw two peg hunters in this one, and that one's staring at me for some reason. <laughs> Alright, um, anywho, so yeah, that's that was interesting. Uh, nothing there, of course, and as I'm not expecting anything, and please guys, don't take me saying like, oh, of course nothing there, I'm not trying to be negative, again, like I finished like I was talking about before I going into that store. I'm just reporting it. I'm calling it as I see it. And if someone doesn't like it, then you don't like reality. <laughs> so, uh, I have viewers that enjoy watching this. And uh, I'm going to do whatever I want on my channel, right? That's what YouTube's for. So, yeah. If I was just after views and... Uh, yeah, like view numbers and all that stuff, crazy subscriptions. I would be making nothing but peck hunting videos where I just go to multiple stores every day, showing you what's on the shelves, and uh, that would get me a lot of subscriptions and a lot of views. I know that for a fact, again, because I like to do experiments on this channel, and I've done daily peck hunt videos. <sighs> and I've also done um, videos where I stopped making peg hunting videos altogether. And it's always been interesting to see how it turns out. How many people unsubscribe, how many people subscribe. Oh, I, I love it, man. <laughs> like, uh, some people find it hard to believe that I really don't give a shit um, about that part of the things. Uh, so, yeah. Um... Anyway, I'm on my way to uh, Walmart right now. Where are you going, Beamer? But uh, with that being said, of course, um, you know, it's always nice to have a following. It's always nice to have your channel grow. It kind of shows you that people are digging what you're doing. And uh, in my case, I've said this before, but, you know, in my case, like, I'd rather not get the empty subscriptions. I'd rather not get the subscriber counts of people that are just expecting a peck hunt video which is just look at me I'm in the store showing you what's on the pegs look at me what I found look at me what I bought I look at it in my house the formula you know so that seems to be what has exploded over the past two years and uh, my peck hunt videos were never like that to be honest with you those of you know 
I always bring my flair to it. I always joke about stuff. Um, I bring my humor to it. I give you my philosophies, my ideas, my uh, opinions, or whatnot. Uh, that, that's what I do, what you're watching right now. <laughs> uh, this isn't your typical peg hunt video, man. And that's the thing, most people don't really want to sit there and watch a guy talk about shit. They're just like, alright, shut the fuck up. Go to Walmart, man. Shut the fuck up. Show me the, the fucking supers. Did you find a chase? <laughs> oh, you found eight super treasure hunts? Oh, you the man, dog. You the man, brah. Look at y'all, brah. Like all the praises for that. It's so... <clears throat> so tired of seeing that. So tired of these people with their thumbnails, you know, holding up a whole bunch of supers or holding up, you know, like, I get it, it's fine, congrats, but that's kind of what you're showing weekly, if not every other day, you're finding that many supers, which means you're full of shit, or you work at the motherfucking store, you good, bro, or you work at the store, or that's just basically all you do, you just go to these different stores and you somehow know people um, that work there and you get access to this shit, which is fine, man. That's fine. But like, I don't, I don't understand why people want to keep seeing this garbage. Like, why is that? Why does that get hundreds and thousands of views or thousands of views? You know, meanwhile, those guys that take time with their cameras, you know, and, um, make like an entertaining video, not too many people watch. I'm not talking about myself either. Like... <laughs> I watch those videos. It's just sad. People just want to see the product. How many people got that product? Are you selling those things you found, bruh? Like, now it's not even like, people aren't even like surprised and amazed by the fact that you found so many supers. They're not happy for you. They want to know if you're selling or trading, bro. That's what they want to know. They just want to know if they can have that. They don't give a shit that you found it. That's just fucking sad, man. You're just, you're happy that that's, that's your audience? I don't know, man. Yeah. Let's go to Walmart. So yeah, guys, that's why I'm shifting more to review videos of diecast that is going into my collection. Or just review videos of diecast and toys, uh, stuff that I like. I'm gonna be collaborating with some people in the future. And uh, yeah, I'll still do peg hunt videos here and there just for fun. But by no means am I gonna, you know, put my heart into it <laughs> as far as like, I need to get those things in my collection type of thing. Wow, at this rate, I'll be able to complete the whole set. Look at that. Uh, it's 2000. Although this is where Maggie and I found those uh, porches. Looks like they got all of them. Of course. And there you go. There's your neon Hot Wheels. That's kind of cool actually. Look at that. If only it wasn't plastic. Ooh, candle. Score. Oof. The dude that was just in here, the cologne is for real in that place. Whoa. I'd rather walk into like a... Oh, that's cool. Like someone's crop dust. <laughs> okay, I gotta... God damn. God damn, bro. Guys, do you smell that bad? That you need like half a liter of cologne? <laughs> trying to see if there's any neon. No, nothing. <sighs> Boo. Awesome sauce, guys. The sauce is awesome at this Walmart. 
So yeah, this Target, the last Target, and this Walmart, these are the Nishamani Mall ones. Uh, these are the ones that are like heavily, heavily packed with collectors. This street right here, oh my god, I can't wait till uh, one day I, I'm just gonna drift this turn. It's right behind Walmart. I'm surprised I don't see more, uh, you know, tire marks here. It's like perfect. It goes all the way left and a hard right. And then, as you can see, and then, uh, then you get the fudge out. Make a left or a right. All right. Um, yeah, guys. So, yeah, there you go. We found another neon freaking, uh, this time, S2000. So, um, I always say S2000 because that's how Jesse said it in Fast and, the Fast and the Furious. I'm just like, yeah, I'm going to race an S2000. This fool. Anyway. Oh, crap. Sorry. I got to shift with my uh, left hand here. Uh, it's not easy on the turn. But I manage. So, um, yeah, if I was looking for these neon things, I would have found three today. That would have been cool. The Celica, the uh, Skyline, and the S2000. Those aren't too bad, you know. But the only one I would pull the trigger, like I said before, it would be the uh, 510 Wagon and the uh, Eclipse. Just because Eclipse is Fast and Furious and 510 is a casting that I enjoy collecting. Not all of them, actually, so it doesn't really even matter if I don't find it. So, <sighs> It's interesting. My collecting habits are interesting. Um, I don't place these things above all. You know what I mean? Like, if I find it, I get excited. If I don't get it, oh well. All right, back in the dashboard. How's it going, everyone? Uh, so yeah, just wanted to. Uh, ooh, American flag. That's that's cool. On the Jeep. Um. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah, I just wanted to uh, also talk about, uh, like, YouTube, because I talked about this a little bit earlier. Like, YouTube channels and stuff that I watch and, you know, how it's just, you know, whatever, man. <sighs> like, everyone and their grandma wants to be a YouTuber or a peg hunter, and none of them want to make, like, any freaking attempt. Ugh, ugh, any freaking attempt on being original in their uh, peck hunting videos like they, they're really just like they'll watch a bunch of peck hunt videos and then they'll go and do a peck hunt video that looks just like all of those peck hunt videos that they just watched which is very dry you know like you just turn on your camera of you showing your feet walking to a store or up your nose, you know, like this. Hey, everyone. Which is fine, whatever. <laughs> but, uh, um, some of my friends do that part, so don't get offended. People need to stop being offended at every fucking thing anyone says, or everything that I say. Like, how, how important am I that everyone's getting offended? Like, I'm not a big YouTuber. Like, chill the fuck out. <laughs> anyway. Um, but yeah, like... Do, do something creative, bro, like, and then they're bitching about, like, oh, you know, why don't I get, like, views and blah, blah, blah. Like, because you're just doing the same shit. The only reason these other guys are getting more views than you is because they're finding supers, or that's what they do. They're always peg hunting, and they'll show you the best parts of those peg hunts, or the best days of their peg hunt adventures. They're not just gonna show you every single failure or like this shit that I'm showing you today where there's absolutely nothing in stores except three neon freaking cars. Well, that premium set was kind of nice, but nothing good in that set anyway. So, yeah. I don't know, that's why, bro. Like, not everyone, just because you're into this doesn't mean you need to be a YouTuber. <laughs> I mean, I encourage people to do it, but you know, it takes a lot of freaking work, man, <laughs> to to get anything. You know, if you're if you're in it for the money, it's gonna take you also take you a lot of work, but maybe quicker because you know there's a lot of people that just whatever it doesn't matter. So, yeah, one thing that I'm starting to really notice with some YouTube, 
and it might even be a trend because I don't know about you guys but I like to watch youtubers that are more personable where it's more of a vlog thing you know like I'm not saying like kind of what I do but kind of like what I do but even more so where it's just a humble person sharing their life sharing what they do talking about things you know without like all the bullshit <laughs> Uh, I'm really enjoying like the true heartfelt things like the youtubers I watch I keep in touch with most of them actually some of them have become my friends and that's kind of the thing uh, you know I think like the next YouTube thing because people are getting kind of tired I feel of the sensationalism man like you know all the like Jake Paul bullshit you know even like I'm not trying to like give Mr. Beast any shit but like you know everyone's trying to fucking do what Mr. Beast does like chill the fuck out man yeah he's successful because he's Mr. Beast you're not <laughs> so yeah um anyway uh, I think I missed my turn so woo wee so anyway that's that's not a turn bro okay fun times bro fun times cool story you're not going to a turn what's everyone fucking doing man all right get out of here we'll be right back yeah, anyway enough of that bullshit um what i'm saying is i really like genuine people i like people that are just like doing youtube stuff because they're just enjoying to share things uh out of their life they're enjoying to share their hobby if it is hot wheels uh, like there's a bunch of uh, Hot Wheels guys I watch that uh, particularly Hot Wheels. I, I watch a lot of YouTube. I don't. I watch almost no TV. Um, I just watch news from Ukraine, a little bit of news what's going on in America, just to be informed a little bit. You can't be ignorant. Can't be ignorant, man. And um, yeah, so <laughs> I, I enjoy guys that are just like, hey everyone, how's it going? Like, hey, I went pig hunting today. Look what I found for my collection. Uh, here's some stuff I picked up for my friends. Here's some stuff I picked up for my son or my daughter. You know, like uh, telling you a little about a little bit about their life or how they're setting up their collection or showing off their collection. Yeah, granted, that doesn't get you a lot of views. Trust me. Like, like I said before, those videos where I'm just doing peck hunt things, where it's just like, look, 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 look at this, look at that. Um, you know, peck hunt, peck hunt. People are all about that because they saw the thumbnail with some stuff that they want to put into their freaking collection. So that's how that is, you know? And, uh, yeah. Wow, that was a bad shift. <sighs> Still love how this, this car sounds so awesome. So, yeah. Uh, basically, man, that's, you know, I, I'm predicting that YouTube's going back to kind of its roots. There's always gonna be a place for all the sensational stuff. People wanna see others that are doing better than them, you know, like people that have more money than they do. So people kinda wanna see people drive around in expensive cars or do expensive things, you know. But I don't, I don't really give a shit that you're, that you have expensive, lavish things. I don't have those. Why the fuck do, do I wanna watch you with all of your lavish shit? acting like a douchebag mostly <laughs> you know what I mean like I don't understand why people want to watch others that are doing better than them and it, it, it doesn't like not that it motivates you I understand if it motivates you in some way or that person is helping you to get there without taking your money for their merch um, you know but other than that man you're just living through somebody else who's doing better than you but not not in a good way not in a good way bro okay so I am at uh, I'm at Franklin Mills or they changed the name to Philadelphia Mills uh, there's a Walmart here uh, there's also a turn seven here that I don't go to after that one trip but uh, my boy Aaron goes here and uh, he, he finds like he finds like Lego sets and shit for crazy prices you, you know like he'll pick something up for 20 30 dollars he can just turn around and flip it for like 60 80 dollars like that same day but uh yeah anyway <laughs> I, I'm, I don't 
do that stuff. Nothing wrong with it at all. At all. That's not scalping. That's reselling like a smart person. So, um, yeah. Let's go to this Walmart and uh, then we'll keep talking about stuff or not. I don't know. We'll see how I feel. I think it's gonna rain soon. Squirrel! Oh yeah, those of you that don't know, uh, Nightbird is the Skyline GTR or R33 possibly. I found the like the nicer version of it. This is the cheaper version, believe it or not. I got the nicer version, which I will be reviewing very soon. Can't wait to see what that's all about. Let's see what else is here. Hmm. Nerf. This asshole. Masks. That thing. Those guys. More of that. Mossy McMoss man. Disproportionate head guy. Bakugis. Cameron, I hope your dog uh, pooped those out. Hmm. Oh, this is just randomly here. Speed dog. Yay! Man, sadly I missed them, but Joe from Joe's Rush Shop, dude, if I came across these, I would probably get them for you. I am the great Carnolio. Come to butthead. <laughs> so yeah, they're basically like like that. But obviously Beavis and Butthead are the popular ones. Hmm. Cool, 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 cool. Um, just a little... These mugs are freaking cool. Slowly but surely. And it's cute. It's not just stupid. Nice dumpster fire. Tons of dumpster fires. <laughs> Literally my life. <laughs> oh, no, not me. Pie chart of how much I like coffee. <laughs> love you this much it's more than it looks like okay maybe i spoke too soon oh let's finish it on this one holy crap is that bigfoot holy crap is that payphone nope Someone down over there. Looks delicious. Hey, that's that's that. So yeah, honestly, if I wasn't uh, much of a talker, this would be one shitty-ass episode, huh? Look, nothing, everyone. I guess it would have been okay. I found some things. I bought nothing. So, which isn't cool. I gotta still stop at, like, an Acme or whatever, a grocery store. Pick up some seltzer water for Maggie. She asked for some of that. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Then I'm gonna head home. I have some awesome stuff coming in the mail today, actually. Forgot I can drive, I'm not holding this thing. 
So, uh, uh, yeah, I got like, um, I found a really nice deal on these, um, they're like acrylic display cases, but um, they hold eight cars, right? But the place I'm buying them from, from so, uh, sells like, what the fuck, I'll look at that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> the place I'm buying them from sells a set of four. So that's pretty cool. But I also had a gift card that someone gave me for Christmas. And, uh, yeah, it's probably better than I'm over here. I got a gift card for Christmas, like a $50 gift card. And, uh, so I decided to get two sets of it. So eight of them. And since each one holds eight, I can arrange them any way I like, you know what I mean? So I can put them around my existing expensive cases, uh, I can put them under there, over them, I can put them all together somewhere else on a different wall, and um, I'll have room for all the loose cars that I have for my collection, which was uh, has been my goal for the past two years. So I'm pretty much there as far as having enough display cases for my collection. So uh, we'll see how it goes from there. Ooh, a Sunoco. I'm gonna pull in there because I'm out of gas. Holy shit, good thing I looked. Uh, oh, man. I don't know why that just turned back on. Uh, 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 Alright, we're there. See, Sunoco, I didn't lie. Bitch. So, yeah, this thing's done. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, hopefully you enjoyed what I was talking about. There's going to be plenty more stuff like this to come, to be honest with you. Um, I like doing vlog videos. I like doing review videos. Uh, I'll still do pet hunt videos here and there. No more daily pet hunt BS. Um, I don't care if I lose subscribers. I don't care if I lose views or whatever um, I'm trying to be like more productive with like you know like what I'm into so I don't want to cater to people that don't really care about me you know what I'm saying so if you like what you see subscribe comment if you don't do whatever you want but thanks for watching this hey little bird it flew away when I looked at it all right, before I spend $100 on my gas, I'm going to go. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Rock.